a wild, wild night. Desmond, what did you think? Man, I'm I'm just glad just glad it's, we got this over with and we can move to the last game. You know, this was the this was three game stretch where it's you know it was you know we're back to USC football where we're actually caring. Where if other teams score the touchdown, like we're we're hurting <laughs> that they scored a touchdown. I mean, the past years, you know, getting to the third quarter, we were we, I think we were, I think a lot of people were leaving the game, were turning the TV off, but now we're getting back to you know. Stick it through games, stick it through everything. I'm, I'm glad we got one more to go. And I know the whole, you know, you know, three, four, five weeks ago, you know, everybody was talking about a lot of USC fans were talking about. I mean, let's not go to the playoff. All ball is going to get killed by Georgia and Michigan and blah blah. blah. I changed my mind on that. What about you? Uh, I mean, I've always been the, I've always been a proponent of get there. We lose, we lose, but that shows the recruitments that were there. Well, but now, and by the way, but now you, I'm at the point that there was something about like a hundred of the top recruits in the country were at this game tonight, like yeah. more recruits than we've ever had at a, a game. And they saw something epic. I think they saw the Coliseum just electric. Full. They saw it full. They saw, I mean, I, I'm in Arkansas, so obviously I can't be there, but I mean, just this, just the blimp shots that they had on the TV. I mean, it was, it looked like a really full stadium. It looked like something that, that an LA people wanted to be at but i mean just going back to you know that whole thing about you know oh we'll just get killed you can't tell me we couldn't hang with michigan after you know what cj stroud did to their defensive backs I mean, you can't tell me we could hang with some of these teams um i mean just give us a shot and i think we have number 13 we have six running the ball as hard as anybody i've ever seen um I mean, we haven't seen anybody run the ball that hard probably since what Lindell White. I mean, just yeah. he's just running. Through. He looked he looked like Lindell, didn't he? Yes, and I don't know whatever the live show was on Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever that was. And I mentioned that if we're gonna get six, seven yards out of out of um, Austin, there's no way you can stop this offense. I mean, it's just impossible. And I know Caleb did throw the ball for normally what he does, but I mean that's that. I mean, it's just so hard to stop. Well, he, I mean, he looked almost better in the times he didn't when everyone was covered and he ran around, he made it look like a playground football, like in a bad movie. Yeah. And you, you look at those plays, you're like, oh my gosh, like we're just under pressure. We're just, you know, our O line can't do anything. And at times it does seem like that, but at times it looks like Caleb's just inviting that, like, please come, please He's come taunting to me. Them. So yeah, please come to me. Give me three more seconds. So I, somebody can come back down the sideline or somebody can come, you know, across the middle of the field for me. <laughs> Exactly. And and either I'm going to run it for 30 yards or I'm going to throw it to Jordan for 30 yards. Either way, you're out 30 yards. Right. And, and just to speak on the defense, I think our defense played really, really well. I mean, I thought they looked that, great. That tight end's a defensive matchup with any team. I mean, I don't care who Georgia, Ohio State, I, I don't care. He's a he's a matchup. Problem. No, just, the, the, the Michael Mayer on, on Max Williams moment was a little bit. Right. I mean, it's like. Rough. There's nothing, there's nothing you could do about that. So I'll try that. That kind of look like you know when you're like playing football or something, and like like your little cousin or your little brothers like kind of right. like hanging on you, and you're just like playing. That's kind of what it looked like. Right. Yeah. He's so a great I'll, player. Yeah, I'll chalk that one up. Like they could have that touchdown. That's that's just gonna happen on any team. Um, and then the you know they had that other go route where um, I don't know who didn't get their head turned around. But that was just a great ball, a great play. I mean. The offense is going to have those, right? So, um, but as far as just controlling the line of scrimmage, I mean, they rarely. I don't. I don't know the stats, but did they really have more than five rushes over ten or fifteen yards that whole I, game? Probably not. I don't. They, they, I mean, it, I'll tell you though. They they played well. Yeah, they played very well. Hey, real quick, uh, a friend of the show, Gixer Squid, pointing out the calls he was packed. Energy was contagious. Recruits thousands of fervent USC fans in one United local uh, focal point. CFP. Uh, real quick, friend of the show, D Rock Irish, had to pop in and congratulate all Trojan fans your victory night. Hey, D Rock Irish, Notre Dame played great tonight. I yeah, thought Drew Pine played great. I thought their defense played great. I thought this was an epic Notre Dame <laughs> USC game. Hats off to the Irish. Like, yeah, and I'll say I'll say one more thing before other people jump on. I listened to the college football playoff show on Tuesday. And they said the reason LSU was above LSU, uh, USC is because they wanted to see more defense. I don't know what uh, uh, how much more defense you can that you can take from this. I mean, they scored essentially twenty points. I'm sorry, um, LSU. Yeah, right. I mean, they just got. Is that the five. team that lost to the team who can't even beat a Sun Belt anybody? <laughs> right. So um, LSU. I I don't know what else the I don't know what else the playoff community needs to see. We have. Uh, 
top one, two offense in the in the nation. And then the turnover margin, I mean, we were everybody was calling that a fluke for the first four, five, six weeks. You can't be a fluke if we're on week 13 and we, you know, we're, it's still happening. So, um, yeah, I mean, I just all around, all around great game. Um, the, for, the special teams even played great. For anybody who's wondering, that's the new abbreviation of that school in Louisiana that the playoff committee put above us. LOL SU. So, uh, yeah, we can use that as our abbreviation now. Thank you, playoff committee. I think you got your answer. 